So to me, we knew. That's why when I was trained, I was going to man there. The man there was feet up. When they go to the run. None of them, none of them was on feet. Because we know what I do to them. Take two miles run, three miles run. They'll go for a run. Again, before we start training. What's your name? Ted by me. And uh, how long have you been in boxing? 91. 91? Yeah, so what, we're 2023? Yes, Lodge. So. Fish to Lodge. Damn. That's years, years back, 91. So we say what? We'll say what? 30, 32 years? Yeah, a while. A minute. Yeah, I'm saying. A minute. And uh, you was experienced. So you used the box? Yeah. So and uh, amateur and as a pro as well. What was your record? Amateur? Yeah. Amateur had 40. I had 45, 140. And uh, professional, I think I had 33. And I think I lost seven. And uh, did you win any titles? Yeah, I won uh, another version of World Title, which is WBF World Title, and I won um, European Title. And um, so, when did you stop boxing professional, professionally? I don't have a date. The like last, years, yeah, roughly. Yeah, the last fire box it was in 2010. That's the last fire box. But I didn't stop. I thought, let me just have a little break, fix up other things, and then from there. You just get comfortable, yeah. yeah. You get comfortable, and then boom. When you trying to come back, yeah. when you trying to when you trying to come back into it, you have. Uh, oh yeah. Thank you. Give me a second. I'm gonna do the interview. So um, and then Isaac, these guys, they want me to train them, and I just stopped training. Them. So now you're a trainer. Yeah, yeah, I'm a coach. Man. And uh, what club do you, uh, what club are you a coach uh, with? I'm here in Credit Boxing Gym. So we got this, now, yeah? We start question and answer, guys. You get that? Question and answer. But I want you to move. Yeah, don't just to be away from it, no, I want you to be in and out. Yeah, pam, pam, pam. Yeah, be more like you're actually poor, you're having a fight. Yeah, make it real. You give me money, give you the question, you answer it back. You can't do this, pam, pam. No, it's not like that, it's pam, pam. You give you a jab, you uh, parry and back to them. Pam, pam, straight away, pam. Or oh, pam, pam, whatever. You catch it, you throw it back, straight away, yeah? But no hard, remember, no hard. Let's get ready again. You need, when he comes in, you need the nose for me. I'm saying. Jab, jab, for the jab, I'll for the jab to you. You throw it. No, no, no. Nah, it is. You go for it. I'll go for the jab. You parry the jab and give it back to me, innit? The answer is that. Then you feel bam. Go to touch it. Yes, you feel the right hand. Boom, to the top. Tap it, bring it to the middle. You get that? Yeah? You get that? You get that, guys? You guys want to run or something? You look, you look tired, man. You look... you do it again. Okay. All right. Now, I thought you guys knew it. I thought you guys keep things. Okay, so we like this. I thought the jump to you. Bam, you came back. Step to the side. Okay, for the punches, man. You don't know for the punch. Oh, it's all right. Yeah, you go punch. You go cup, cup. Parrot my punch. And don't tell anyone. Give them one place to see. Okay, I put the jab to you. Bam, you put the jab back to me. I parry the jab. You put the right hand. I see, I'm putting that hand in there. See that? Okay, you put the right hand. I go and move it. I go go with it. Look, I'm like this. Put the right hand. Boom. Then I tap down the bring it to the middle. You get me? So you, yeah, you got it. You got it. Yeah, right hand. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Remember tap because it's a, it's a rib cage. You don't want to break it. Yeah. All right, guys. Let's go. Back to the jab. Jab. Boom. One, two. Boom. 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 Yeah. Well, I started coaching. I started coaching in uh, Metro. What do you call it? Uh, Miguel. Miguel. What? Miguel's? Incredible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In Brixton, sorry. Yeah. So, obviously, with all your experience mm -hmm. and you yeah. won uh, titles, to transition as a trainer, you bring a lot of knowledge, experience. Yeah. So, how is it for you? Like, what, 
obviously you you like the fighting. Yeah. But uh, how is the training compared to the fighting for you? Like, what what's the main difference? Would you say? You you because you, you have to be at the gym. Yeah, you go keep much. yourself fit still. Yeah. But being a coach is more mentally you work harder than a than a boxer because you go see the boxing. I mean, the fight. You go to analyze the fight. You go observe the other opponent. You go see his mistakes. You're gonna take advantage from it. So it's a lot of thinking, a yeah. lot of concentration. It takes. And obviously, I guess it's different with all your fighters because yeah, they got different right. skills, different attributes. So yeah, you have to right. bring stuff out of there. What's the actual routine now? How many minutes or how many no, no, times? No. Or I just want them to do. This is about. It looks like about 300 yards, right? Yeah. It looks about 300 yards. So they're doing us. Uh, they'll do five times. Five or six times depends on how I feel like it. If I can see the face expression that they still go fit it. Wait, wait, the car. Wait. And then I can add one more. I always create something. Oh, you need to run good. One more. Oh, you need to do this. One more. It, that, it all matters up. when they're yeah. in the trenches. That yeah, that's right. Yeah. Go! Wonderful. We should run to the end. Come on, let's go again, my boys. Let's go again. Push to the end. Push to the end. Push to the end. All right. Yeah, I don't like that one, there, man. Let's start that one again. What got yo? Wicked boxer, you know, he retired. Come here, mate, come here, what you did? So, yeah, what was you saying, Ted? I was saying, this run, it builds up the, the fitness level to a different level. Yeah, like Junior had a fight the other day, he had a four run. He never, he did like he never done nothing. You know? Go! Where come I'm on, standing. who's got it? Look at the champ. <laughs> Look at the champ. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. That's my boy, you know. Wicked boxer, you know. Yeah. My boy, see, you retired too soon. You told me about him already. Yeah, yeah you told me about him already. You retired too soon, my boy. Go again, man. Go again. How we should do it. This man inspires generations. That's my brother. Good. That's my brother. You see, eyes like the man that we did the title. Trust me. Richard is number one in the thing about IBF. I'm proud of him, yeah, mate. You laid the foundation for them, man. What, what we see here, right, if you look at it at face value, it looks like a few people running up a hill. But it's so, it's so much deeper than that, bro. Like, this man is having a positive influence on, look at that, over 20 young people right here present. And his words, right, his presence in their life can be the very catalyst to someone putting down a knife, picking up a book, like, making life-altering decisions that presence right there. If you was to ask each of these individuals about their relationship with their dads, you will see that the absence is greater than we would like to imagine. The absence is great. Having a, a positive male role model, a father figure, and that's exactly... That's, it. that's exactly what a boxing coach is. You know, they're that father figure, they're that meaningful, um, developmental presence in someone's life. It's a lecturer, a coach, a tutor, a mentor, a father figure, you name it, man. It's an uncle, you know what I'm saying? All the above. And what's beautiful about boxing, you will hear a coach shouting at a, at, a, at a boxer, bro, they're getting them to go beyond what the individual think is their limit. Brother, bro, do you know, if some people have that in their life, like if you have that in your life, bro, do you know what's possible for you? Do you know what I'm saying? Like all the greats you see, man, they've had key influences in their life that's enabled them to tap into that greatness and that potential. That's what boxing coaches are, man. That's what they did for me. The time that I was boxing, bro, I went from nobody to number one in the country, being recognized in every gym, everywhere that I go, recognized for what I achieved in the ring. You know what made that possible? My coaches being there reliably, week in, 
week out, day in, day out, they're there. If you look at this man, you know where to find them. He's in the gym, teaching a young person certain about their health, certain about peaking their performance. That's powerful. Uh, just for the people, can you uh, tell us your name and your record? My name is Kieran Gilpin, former national champion of England and Jamaica, oh, Olympic oh. hopeful. And my, my record, I stopped at 31 bouts, 28 wins, Haringey gold, silver, London gold, England gold, Jamaica gold, be a gold medal! Champion to me, a champion boy. So yeah, that's, that's me man. And other than that, motivational speaking, speaking life into people, into the next generation, letting them know that that potential is there and they have what it takes to actualize that potential, to realize that potential. So you can find me out here in the community, in schools and colleges, doing training development, doing motivational speaking, big up all the athletes them, big up you my brother, because you're here trying to document the things people don't see. And that's what's beautiful, do you know what I'm saying? Giving people an insight into what's happening, but also giving them context, hence why you held me hostage to share my views, do you know what I'm saying? And that's powerful within itself. I want to encourage you to invest in the money. I donate, donate, put some money linked to this thing. Use or donate, he needs a mic. Listen to this, you're hearing all the background noise. We need a mic, people. Donate in the link below. Make sure you put a link in there. Because we need a mic. <laughs> Thank you very much. My pleasure, King. Respect, yeah. You too, Appreciate boss. your million. Keep up the great work, my bro. 100%. Pleasure. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. So, um, you've got a show coming up soon, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. We've got, we got amateur shows up. It's coming up 18, November the 18th. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, where? It's going to be here, actually. Okay, and how many fights on the show? Well, we we sign up, we go 50, we go 45 kids. Now, 50 kids are carded for our gym. Or 50 kids are carded, you know? So, we try to put on maybe, um, we'll have maybe, if you can get on 15 in it, or 14 fight, I mean, our boys. Yeah. You know, it'll be nice, it'll be a success. So what, 15, 14 of yours and other club and fights? Other clubs as well, yeah. They'll put us on, but they'll have 20, 25 or 22 fights. Ooh. And what time is this show starting? Well, we're going to start in the afternoon, and then it'll carry on until about 9, 9 p.m. or something. Okay. Yeah. And uh, what's the date of this show? Uh, November the 18th. November the 18th? Yeah. And where can people buy tickets if they want to yeah, come and see the show? Yeah, you buy here in the gym. We go ticket right here, or you can go online and purchase your ticket. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, that'll do for now. I'm sure we'll speak more. But um, it's been nice speaking to you. All right, my boy. Bless.